Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today we're diving into the incredible world of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This isn't just any game. It's a journey back to the one of the most beloved stories in gaming history. Reimagined for 2024. Imagine a world where fantasy meets reality, where every decision can change the fate of the planet. That's the essence of Final Fantasy VII but Rebirth take it to the another level, with sinning graphics and the narrative that has us all on the edge of our seats. From cloud strife epic battles to the deep emotional storyline, this game has captured the hearts of millions. And now, with Rebirth, we're about to see a side of this universe that we've never seen before. So, what's new in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? What secret does it hold? Stick around as we explore the what if of this extraordinary game. Now, imagine a world where everything you know about Final Fantasy VII is turned upside down. Picture this, Cloud Strife, our spiky haired hero, makes a shocking choice. Instead of rising up against the mighty Shinra Corporation, he chose them. Think about it. The guys were always seen fighting against the tide, standing up for the little guy. Now, wearing the uniform of the very enemy he swore to defeat. What would lead him down this path? Is it for survival, secret mission, or something more? How would this twist change the game iconic battle? Its intense confrontation and those deep bonds Cloud has with characters like Tifa and Barrett? This isn't just a simple flip of allegiance. It's a complete rewrite of Cloud Journey, his battles, his heart, and it begs the question, what lies at the end of this path for Cloud Strife, the unexpected Shinra soldier? So, Clouds, now with Shinra, this isn't just a new uniform, it's a whole new world for him. Let's dive into how this changed everything. First up, Cloud Career Path. Could he climb up the rank and become a high-ranking officer? Imagine him leading missions, strategizing, and maybe even facing moral dilemma. That's come with power. And then, there is the heart of it all. His relationship, what happened to the bond he shares with Tiva, his childhood friend, and Barrett, his comrade in arms. Would they see him as a traitor? Oh, they understand his reason. Imagine the emotional roller coaster, the dark choices, the secrets and lies. Every interaction would be last with tension, confusing, maybe even a sense of betrayal. In this alternate storyline, Cloud Journey is not just about fighting monsters or saving the world. It's about navigating the complexity of loyalty, friendship and identity. How could Cloud reconcile his path with this new reality? Would he find the new allies within Shira, or would he be lone wolf in a world he once fought against? Now, let's talk gameplay. Cloud joining Shira isn't just a plot twist, it would revolutionize how we play the game. Think about it missions could shift from sabotaging Shira operation to enforcing their dominance. Imagine playing as Cloud leading squad to call up raising or gather intel on resistance movement. The combat system could be revamped too. Cloud may have access to Shira advanced tech and weaponry, altering his fighting side. Maybe there would be moral choices in gameplay. Do you follow orders or act on your conscience? And what about exploring the vast Shinra headquarters, in covering its secrets, navigating its politics, the game could take a more strategic turn, blending action with elements of espionage and moral ambiguity. In this alternative universe, every mission, every fight, every choice would add layers to Cloud's story, challenging the player to rethink what it means to be a hero. In this what if world, Cloud Journey is a roller coaster of emotion. Joining Shira, he'd face conflict that go below physical battles. 
the biggest struggle, his own identity and the past. Cloud wants a symbol of resistance, now part of what he fought against. How does he view himself? And what about his memories? The revelations about who he truly is? This internal battle could be more intense than any sort of fight. As player, we'd not just witness but feel these conflicts. Every choice Cloud makes would be a reflection of his internal struggle, making us question our own understanding of right and wrong. This twist in Cloud Tell could ripple through the entire world of Final Fantasy VII. Friends turned foes, foes turned an ally, and the story where every choice reshaped the world destiny. In this alternative universe, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth isn't just a game, it's an exploration of the great era of morality and loyalty. So, what do you think? How would Cloud's decision change your view of him and the game? Share your thoughts, your own what if scenario, and let's keep this conversation going. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more gaming content like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Two made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we race toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. PlayStation.